obviously they have sun salutation and the other team doesn't have a reflector of any kind so they're kind of just have to deal with it but it's not going to be super helpful in this matchup i think the soccer ball actually is more helpful here but we'll have to see as we get into this game here and Ven starting off with all that offstage pressure already Stas, uh, opting to chase after Lucina, which I think is actually kind of a better option than going after Ben Samus. Um, ooh, see, that's exactly what I was gonna say. Uh, his back air is really good against Sorties. Uh, very, very strong, high priority. And there goes the true you. Nice kill there. Taking the defenders. And we're already at an even game. Wow, it's not even been a minute yet. And we're already losing one stock each. So, very interesting. Ooh, that was a good edge guard. But we Fit does have a pretty decent recovery, so it should be able to last. Um, good stuff. Uh, being able to stall with the soccer ball, I don't know how helpful that is against Samus. Because uh, Samus mostly looks for the actual recovery itself, not really looking for the hit. Uh, but it more or less depends on whether or not Samus opts for Nair or Down Air. Uh, Dirty Mike, just barely getting out of that hit situation there. Ooh, and Stas uh, trying to get out of this juggle and unfortunately does not. Uh, gets up smashed by uh, Venerys. Good stuff. And, ooh, Venerys almost losing the shield there. And. Dirty Mike. Oh, okay. Dirty Mike getting out of the situation. Thanks for Venrix. And Stas. Oh, Stas was looking for something there. I think the down air was the right choice, but I think he missed out on getting a forward air there. Ooh, ooh, good spike though, but not gonna kill stats yet. Uh, not, not exactly a high percent. Ooh, nice full jab. Okay. And Dirty Mike is getting hit with up tilt shenanigans. And Ven's getting sandwiched right now, but shouldn't. Oh, okay. And he's looking for the kill. Nice now. Okay, uh, we are back to an even game again with stocks. And we have two characters right now at higher percents, which is Ryu and Lucina. Um, ideally, you want to keep Ryu alive, though. If you can keep Ryu with Rage, actually, that would be really helpful in the 2v1. You might be able to kill even earlier. So I would honestly focus on uh, Dirty Mike right now, and then get Venrix uh, to be part of the 2v1, because I don't think Sims could deal with the 2v1 as much as Lucina can. So I would focus on Ven or, uh, focus on Dirty Mike, and then take out Venrix and the you want But we'll see how that goes. Right now, uh, both characters are doing really good in the defensive play on Blue Team, so they might be able to get away with this. Ooh, okay, there we go. So they got what they wanted. Venrix is uh, in the two v one situation now, and okay, nice jump to get out of the Sun Salutation, but. Fenrix is a little too far for that. He's jumping over that as well. And offstage play. Nothing happening there. Okay. Nice back air into soccer ball, but I think the soccer ball actually ruined the knockback there. Uh, okay. Getting the, the jank up B. And Stas looking to get this kill, but it doesn't matter. The fear, fear gets Venrix. Good stuff to uh, Stas and Kinky Oats there. Take game one. Now, stage picking is going to be interesting here. Um, I don't even know what I would pick, honestly, with these two characters. Probably something vertical. Probably They're probably going to ban town, most likely. I feel like that would be the most uh, optimal ban. Uh, they're gonna go to FD though. Uh, so this, I think this is fine. Um, definitely interesting. So, uh, on FD, uh, I think this is actually a really good counter. Pick. Wow! Stas taking a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage! Good stuff to, uh, to Venric. And, okay. Um, they're really focusing the stats a lot this game. Um, almost excessively. It's, he's really taking a lot of damage. But Dirty Mike, 
Uh, SDing, super unfortunate. I don't know if that's what he meant to be doing, but <laughs> I don't think he realized. Oh, that S match mattered though. My God. Uh, we're at was that two stock lead? Oh, my God. Yeah, this is uh, not looking great for the red team so far, but they could probably make it better. They just gotta uh, abuse Rage for you. Pretty much. Pretty much what really wants in these doubles. Which is probably why they're focusing on him a lot so they can actually like make him lose stocks. Because I think um I think uh Kinky Oats is really good at stock tanking. So it's probably smart to go after Stats first. Dirty Mike. Uh, really trying to stay alive here. Lucina can stock tank, but it's if if one uh, bad forward smash comes out. Um, any really fast move that's also a kill move really easily punish it, no problem. Um, so like true sharding and stuff like that. Uh, but we're at one stock left, and he has four stocks to take out. So uh, Kinky Oats, uh, he's gonna have to work pretty hard to get this if he wants this. But ooh, okay, taking one stock. Yo, let's go. Sick read. Okay. Uh, oh, I think he was looking for a crab there, but I didn't quite get it. Um, and Ben just keeping him edge guarded. This is like really troublesome actually for Weepa from what I'm seeing. This is just awful. Oh! Oh! Yo, okay, it's 1v1. This is actually possible. This is actually po this is this could actually happen right now. Um I'm I'm about to pop off. This man actually gets this. Uh, Ven taking damage, he's taking the ladder, he's taking that Wii Fit ladder up to the top. He could actually do this right now. Uh, he's just gotta watch out for the Samus traps, and, uh, on Fenric's side, he's gotta watch out for, uh, Wii Fit's aerials, because her aerials are deceivingly powerful. Or his, in this case. Uh, okay, back in an edge guard situation once again. And he's gonna, okay. Go oh, and that charge shot. That charge shot mattered. He almost did it. That was that was potential. Good stuff, though. To Stacks and Kinky Oats for almost taking that out. But Dirty Mike and Venrix getting that second game. And now they're going to have to go for another stage fan here. Uh, thing is, with this, with this situation now, um, their ban... Their ban is going to probably... They're probably gonna want They're probably gonna want to get rid of Triplats, actually. Um, Ryu doesn't have a lot they can do over there. Um, Wii Fit does have some stuff that sh that they can do. Okay, see, they're still gonna go for it. See that? I don't. I don't know how I feel about this stage pick. Um, but we'll see what happens. I could be wrong. Let's let's go into it and see. But I, I think that honestly, Blue Team benefits from this more. Um, Samus benefits from this actually a fuck ton because of the uh, up B and the up airs. And Lucina benefits this from this a lot because the mid platforms are really, really, really good um, for up smash, forward smash, all that stuff. So I don't know about this stage pick, but let's see if it works out in their favor regardless. He's got that magic 69% right now. Uh, so that's actually potential. He's gonna he's gonna win the game if he keeps this. Oh no, he loses the grip. Okay, so <laughs> back to the game. Uh, we got Ven and Stas like going at it off stage right now. Mad, holy god. Um, Stas has actually been dealing with the edge guards fairly well. Um, it's just like little mistakes is what's causing his deaths a lot. Like just then with the short Yukin, um, getting F smashed by Ven. Good stuff to Ven though for getting killed. But uh, it's definitely something that Stas is gonna have to look out for in the future. Uh, ooh, good true short you though, and that's gonna take that stock. Um, and now Ven is uh, probably the next. Ooh! Sassy, 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 sassy side view. Let's go. Um, and now uh, we're looking at an even game once again. However, Blue Team does have the upper hand in percentages. Uh, but it doesn't matter too much, again, if they can get an easy kill. Uh, but on the other team, they get the easy kill. Ven getting. Oh my god, they got two easy kills. Jesus. Uh, this is this is looking like a lot of jank right now. Samus Samus up B, Samus down air. There's looking to be some cheesy cheesy stuff going on in this game, but it's working out. So not much I can say about that. Uh, but stink. Uh, oh, oh my gosh. 
and... Okay, we're... <laughs> I, have, I came in like... I don't have words for that. I have no words. Okay, Stas in a 2v1. Uh, he can take out Ven stock really quickly here. Uh, Johnny Mike could accidentally also take out the stock with like... Back air, pretty sure. Uh, S smash. Up smash. Bunch of stuff. But they look to be pretty good at keeping away from each other from that part. So, should be fine. Uh, Kinky Oats, uh, looking in awe, praying to God, his teammate saves his life. <gasps> True, sure, you almost, almost didn't happen, but that's okay. Okay, good, up B. Okay. Nice, uh, nice forward air, actually, from Stas there. Getting the team combo that he never wanted. Uh, okay, uh, he can kill Dirty Mike here at this point. Uh, he is, he does have a lot of rage. Nice! Oh, but that, that's unfortunate. The back air did matter. So now we're going 2-1. Uh, Dirty Mike and Venrix in the lead at the moment. Oh, Lord. That was a stressful game to watch. It went ba very back and forth. Mid-game was actually a lot of edge guarding shenanigans. Um, not looking too great. They gotta watch out for uh, Ven's strengths. Uh, Samus has, like... Super, super crazy uh, kill moves actually that are, like have a lot of inv like not invincibility, but like they feel invincible with the way you hit them and the way they can hit you with them. The timing on them is very specific, so they just have to watch out for that. Um, okay, uh, I think we're on town now, so I think this will be really good for Oats and Stas actually. Um, this stage is not too helpful for Lucina, it's more so for Samus uh, in terms of the blue team. Uh, Samus can get a lot of really nice ladder stuff early percent, so like she can actually be the, the combo and percentage racker while Lucina gets all the kills. Um, it's not looking that way right now though, Dirty Mike has not been getting a lot of hits right now, but Ven Venerous has been putting in the work, and so is Stas right now, getting two True Shore Yukins in a row, taking out Dirty Mike on the way. Good stuff. Uh, now we're going into second stock here for two of these characters, and almost last stock for Stas, Jesus. Uh, okay, and there we go, there's a True Shore Yu that we've been looking for, and... Hmm. Now... Okay, double fair. That does 30%, that's crazy. Anyway, <laughs> talking about Ryu forward, oh my god. So, ooh, Ven going for a very obscure down air. I don't really know why he went for that. Ooh, he's trying to go for the... Uh, sorry, Kikios is trying to go for that spike, but actually gets edgeguarded for doing so. Uh, reverse edgeguarded, rather. And good back here. Dirty Mike looking for shield breaks. He's been doing that quite a fair bit this set, and it doesn't look like he's gotten a lot out of that. He's got a few hits here and there, but not a lot of benefit from it. Um, so I don't know if that's actually a really good option. Ooh! I think, I think he hit him. Oh, nice. Ven taking out his teammate. Good stuff. Everything, everything's fine. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that, but everything's fine. So, <laughs> um... We are at an even game, stock-wise. Uh, however, Ven is very close to dying. Ooh, up air not gonna take it, but uh, teammates causing the massive damage. Uh, okay, edge guard situation. We've seen this about a hundred times already, this game. Ooh, but the jank jank up you hit, deceiving Ven. Ooh, okay, forward air? Wow, that was weird. And, okay, we're in a 2v1 situation. Uh, Ven opted to tell his teammate to not take stock, which is actually smart. Uh, I think Ven could potentially do this, actually. Um, I don't know if Dirty Mike would be able to do it based on matchups, not not really based on the actual um, player themselves. It's more based on the matchup, I would say. Samus would have an easier time because of her having charge shot. But if she can't get the... Oh my god! But if she can't get the time to be able to get the charge shot charging, then it's not really worth it at the end of the day um, to go for the 2v1. So that pressure actually mattered, and at the end of the day, Stas and Kikios ended up taking the game, and now we're on to game five. My god. <laughs>
is, uh... Uh, what stages do they have left? Okay, so... Um... Dirty Mike and Venrix can't go onto Battlefield anymore, which is actually good. So they can't they can't pick Battlefield. They can't pick uh what was it? FD, I think they also won on. Um Oh. Maybe it wasn't FD. What did they win on game two? Unless Oh, it was Battlefield. No, ba ba uh, Battlefield you won on Oh, okay. Anyway, whatever. I guess I don't know. But regardless. Okay, FD it is, huh? Um, this is, this is going to be a little bit scary for, uh, Red Team. I don't feel like this is a great team, a great, um, stage for this combo. However, uh, they have proven me wrong before. They've gone some pretty great team combos, especially in that 2v1 that we saw just in that last game. Uh, so if they can make a 2v1 happen again, it's definitely going to be a, a stalemate. Um, or rather a checkmate. Can't this right now. Uh, Kinky Oats looking for the edge guard, getting the back air. At least he got some damage there. That's always nice. And ooh, okay, forward smash. Stas in. Okay. Thank, thank God, Kinky Oats came to the rescue. Uh, ooh, missing the edge guard or missing the uh, combo opportunity from his teammate there. Unfortunate. Then though, uh, getting. Getting, ooh, he got, what was that, Nair back in? Some good stuff. Just barely getting out that, that one hit versus Stasis Ryu here. Ooh, using forward air to predict the focus attack, that was very smart. Uh, Stas looking for that true shore you against Dirty Mike, which is pretty optimal at this point. Um, it's definitely a fast move, so why not, right? And he's going to save his teammate, and unfortunately got footstool there. <laughs> anyway, uh, ooh, uh, just barely misses the opportunity from his teammate, back throwing there, uh, again, missing the opportunity, oh, but the shield break, uh, how are they gonna take this on, oh, Dirty Mike saving his teammate, that's unfortunate, that would've been some great stuff if Stas would've gotten something out of that, cause Ryu has some pretty silly shenanigans at low percent when it comes to shield breaks, so that would've been really, really nice, but see, Dirty Mike using the neutral B has not really been working out for him so far, but... He's getting killed off to begin with, so, uh, actually, Ven is on his last stop right now, and he's at a high percent, so this is actually gonna be really interesting. We might see the 2v1 from Dirty Mike this time around, uh, assuming that they can get him to a high percent, uh, but Venrix is looking to try and stock tank before he just takes stocks from Dirty Mike, so, but Dirty Mike's starting to take some percent, so, okay, they're gonna take stock here, good stuff. Uh, okay, so Dirty Mike at mid percent, so he's just gonna want to watch out for some of the smaller combos that Weefit can do at this point. Um, but now, now that I said that, they're already taking enough damage for Stas to start going in. Uh, you probably can't for sure you just yet. I don't know if it'll kill just yet. It probably will. Um, but it doesn't even matter. Everything I just said didn't matter. Because Dirty Mike just SDs, as far as I can see. And back in. Okay. And we got that sick 2v1. And, oh, okay, that was a great back air. But they got another stock. And they're at 92%. Everything's fine. And, ooh, there's a the down air. Good stuff. Game set and match. Stas and Kinky Oats takes the set. 